you strong. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy. Enjoy. All right, cool. All right. Let's start off our topic. This is Fit Beauty Talk, and I am Sonia Lewis. I am Bree. Oh, and I'm Bree Wiggly. <laughs> and we are the Fit Beauties. And this is Kane Yancy. Yes, and we are the Fit Beauties. <laughs> yes, are so you. beautiful too. We <laughs> have our guest today, Miss Lauren. Do you still go by? Edenton or yeah, Adams. I'm going by Adams now. Okay, everyone still calls me Eaton, but uh, it's Lauren Adams. I'm trying to get everyone used to it. <laughs> so you'll totally be first on the chopping block for the stage these days. Yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> when I did Tampa last year, like right after I turned pro, I was like the first one too. And it oh was, my god, was scary. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh wow, okay, great. <laughs> that is awesome. I know. So we have our topic today. Um, Kay, what's our topic for today? Is it male coaches versus a female coach? Yeah, with, uh, male coaches versus female coaches. And we're going to just, you know, in everyone's um, own experiences, um, how is it different? What did you like? What did you don't like? Um, who you think is better? Yeah, what would um, you recommend it? And just, you know, um, based off just um, experiences, I know a lot of people that I um, get in my emails, they always... Um, have their experiences, you know, with um, certain male coaches and also um, some female coaches. But we just want to get um, you all experience. And since we have Lauren here, a new pro, you know, tell us about your experience that you have now that you're a new pro, your feeling, how long has it took to get to pro, how many shows you have done, who's oh, your Lord. coach, blah, blah, blah. It was some all that good stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sonia. You're like, so Sonia knows. Um, so I have, this is my sixth season uh, competing. I've done 14 shows in PC and IPB included. Obviously the one IPB show I did last year. But I, I took a stab at national six times. Um, I probably started off in a place where I had a coach that was a great local coach, but didn't really know exactly what, you know, at the time, like, Nationals was really looking for. And also, since I've been competing, like, bikinis changed so many times. Like, it used to look so different six, five, you know, five and a half, six years ago. Yeah, what now. year did you look at, Lauren? What year? Can you tell us what year you started competing? Yeah, is that, uh, right at the end of 2014. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So that's when I started <laughs> yeah. training. Yeah. And then my first show was Music City Muscle in Nashville. It was like Brandy and uh, Brandon Curry show. That was the first show I had. And I remember my first, the first show I did, the class like the open class was 32 girls or something like that so i thought that oh, was wow normal. i thought that was like a normal and then i and i remember i got like first call i was like, i got like six plays and then i oh, came right? here i came to georgia and did my second show and it was like not anywhere near as big and i was just like oh okay <laughs> this is how it, so you know i just remember i was in nashville i just thought they were all that um huge and then they they really aren't a lot of the qualifiers like that aren't especially these days like with some of the companies I work with, they say show numbers have been down lately. So I'm just like 32 people in a class. Like I couldn't even imagine that now. Like national was. shows, right? No, it was. It was crazy. Uh, but yeah, I uh, let's see. I went to nationals the first time, 2017, and you know, just last July at USA's, I got my pro card. So took me a little bit, but we did it. <laughs> That's awesome. Congrats, Can you let us know why you got into competing. I mean, I always ask people why. So interesting. Yeah, so. no, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, I actually grew up uh, playing sports, all different types of sports, um, softball, volleyball. I was a cheerleader. I did swim team, all that kind of stuff. Um, also, something that has to do with it, I think, is my dad was a competitive power lifter as I was growing up. So I went to Very the gym cool. a lot with him. And uh, just like, it was kind of like an average Joe's type of gym, you know, power lifters and dudes like that. But uh I went with them all the time and I just like grew up in that environment. Um, and then so after I went to college, I got all my partying and got my system and stuff. After that, <laughs> I was like, okay, I need, like, I don't have anything. Like I don't have any sports. So I remember I, um, in college, I started uh, Googling but, like how to be a bodybuilder. Like I started looking mm -hmm. at bodybuilding, bodybuilding.com. I started following the Jamie Eason plan and uh, her meal plan that she put online and just really wanted to, 
I just really wanted muscles in my arms. I wanted some shape to my arms because my arms used to be like such a embarrassing like weak point for me like i did not want to show it wear a tank top ever and look at your arms now my gosh wow. <laughs> now it's like all right stop um <laughs> and i don't even train my eyes up or anything girl but yeah i uh i don't know i just really i just started then and then after i uh I, as sonia was asking me earlier uh what name i'm going by now my maiden name is adams i was married and then i got divorced but my first like four or five months of being married i did what a lot of people do i think which is just like take out wine, the wedding's over, whatever, let's just get fat, not worry about anything. And I was like, you know, screw this. I went to a weekend with some friends and I was like, you know, 23 or four. And I was like the one that was like in the most out of, like I was the most out of shape, like out of all those people. And I was like, I'm only 24, like this is unacceptable. And I just like had a mission from then on to like get in shape. And then I had some people talk to me about competing. And then I met my first coach, Jesse in Atlanta um, through a friend Atlanta. of a friend and, yeah and uh, he was amazing we did day shows together but um, I just started and I couldn't stop and now here we are <laughs> <laughs> it is an addictive sport so you say you started at 24 it was probably I was probably 24 yeah yeah oh, wow. in 14, so yeah mm -hmm. That's awesome. Here we are. I turned pro on my 30th birthday. So that's what it was. Oh, oh my God. That's awesome. <laughs> it was. It was actually like on the day. Like I got it on my 27th of July. Like I was like, yes, my yes. birthday. Yes. That was worth yeah. the wait. That was worth the Girl, it was cool. It was. It was God's timing, you know. It really was. I was happy for you. I really, you know, we kind of saw your journey maybe for a couple years just being at the same yeah. gym. So I was really happy for you. Thank you. And you saw some of the ugly places mm -hmm. that coach, male uh, coaches have taken me. <laughs> and then I've told you about some of the other experiences I've had with other ones. Like, no names, no names. No, no names. <laughs> but I'm just saying, uh, I've, had, I've definitely had my fair share of coaching experiences, and I'm still kind of trying to find the perfect match for me. Um, so question, I have, I have a have question for you, Lauren. Yeah. So when you were going into the show that you won on your birthday, you won your pro card on your birthday, did you know going into that show, like, did you just have a different feeling? How did, yeah. what, where was your head? Yeah. And totally. Do you think your coach at the time had an impact on kind of like that overall experience? Um, so I remember Sonia and Kay actually saw me at Universe a few weeks before that. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, I hadn't cracked the top spot at Nationals and ever so to me you remember you saying like you're gonna do really you're gonna do really well and so i was like oh we'll see you know whatever yeah. and i uh, <laughs> got bit like to me i was freaking through the roof i was like the national show like back then i was so excited like i honestly you couldn't even tell me i i felt like i won like that's how excited i was <laughs> so i got all the feedback i needed uh, from the judges I had since I've been doing it a little bit I had everyone's emails and I just like emailed them and was like what do you guys uh, you know need to see and they kind of told me conditioning the lower body a little bit and I was like all right three weeks we got it so yeah to answer your question going into it I felt like all the t's were dotted and all the i's were crossed like every single thing was oh, the other way exactly around how they wanted it. <laughs> What you say? All the, all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dotted. Got it. Yes, I felt totally uh, serene and I did feel like it was going to happen just because of, I don't know, I just felt it. Yeah. So, um, my coach going into it and he felt the same way too. Um, I'm not with him anymore as of a few days ago, but. Um, oh, no. We, yeah, no, it's not a no. It's fine. I have a, a guy here who I'm going to be working with who lives like five minutes from my place and. Um, it's kind of like a team thing over here. Um, so awesome. I don't I didn't say no names, but they have a gym too. That's like literally four minutes from my apartment. So it's just like, it's super, super like scientific and intelligent. So I don't know. And my boyfriend is friends with them and it just, it just seems like it, it made sense for now. So we're going to try it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Do you know so so so, Lauren, you just mentioned, so, like, as of four days ago, you had a different coach. And, like, yes. now going to I'm on team. a new plan. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, we're doing a show in less than eight weeks. I thought I read something like that. Yes. I'm going to be trying to, like, I kind of, um, well, I was going to do a show, the Clash, the show that was uh, in March. And then three weeks off from that, we heard it got canceled. So, I've just been, I mean, obviously, I'm not three weeks out anymore. Like, kind of just, I, you know kind of 
coming off of uh, all that cardio, as much cardio as I was doing, increasing the food a little bit and coming off of any supplements and things. Um, so I've been kind of in a rest recovery mode. Um, I've only about 10 pounds from where I need to be probably. So uh, I'm, yeah, I'll be ready to go in eight weeks for sure. I'll probably be ready in sooner than that, I hope. Okay. What show is that? What show is eight weeks? So there's three on the same day. Um, this one, the one I'm trying to do maybe is going to be the SAC Pro. There's... Um, mm -hmm. The two line. other ones that day. There's one in Utah, and there's another one. This is according to the new schedule. Like, hopefully it doesn't get canceled, you know, but that's just what I'm hoping for. I'm still treating it like it's happening because, dang it, I want to get on that, that circuit, you know what I'm saying? So, We're going to get uh, on that circuit in due time. Yes. Uh, so, if I mean, if not that one, then I'm going to do another. I mean, I'm just going to stay on within striking range until it happens. <laughs> I agree. How many coaches have you had, Lauren, in, like, men versus, like, women? How many have been men? How Let's, many have So, I will say all of my coaches have been men. Um, okay. All of my coaches have been men. Uh, there was a time where I almost had a woman coach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm like, I can't be working out with y'all that many times a week. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. You can't me. Me. I'm like, no, hell no. I'm a, I'm a baby. I'm like, oh, that looks scary. I don't want to be doing all, those, all that shit. All that shit. <laughs> but I, um... Let's see. I've had, I've had, so this will be my fifth coach I've had. Oh, okay. you're yeah. catching up to me. You're catching up yeah. to me. Yeah. So, so had, you, you, you break the like, record. What do you say? Sonia holds the record for coaches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've, had five, I've had a couple other ones kind of come in and help when one of them was dropping a ball so i've had other coaching experiences but five like that were my coach yeah probably it's been five yeah yeah i probably and, had maybe with jock and k included probably seven in total mm -hmm. you just gotta find the magical recipe that yeah works you for do you, you gotta, like, i mean it's not about just winning or losing but it's i, I think you got to really mesh with that person so mm -hmm. and then I mean, a of lot course, of coaches Go ahead. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. So, of course, my opinion would be for me, a female coach, because for yeah. us as bikini competitors, um, I realized that maybe I could have brought my body in better, but would I have had the right suit or the right look? Because I wore like red suits before that never worked for me. I've worn other colors that they absolutely hated on me. So, of course, I'll say Coach K has been proven to be, you know, the yeah. best coach for me so far, just from experience ooh, ooh, with me ooh, having. Ooh, 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 <laughs> he's a good one. I know she's a good one. I tell anybody that asks of like about a female coach, I'm like, can you go talk to her? Yeah. You know. Yes, I mean, because for bikini, it's about the whole look. You know, it's not yeah. just the physique. And I feel like male coaches can, in their head, maybe because they love women, everything about you just looks great Ooh, to them good. when. Is not necessarily how sure. the stage you should present yourself on stage. For you know? sure, and I will say the last coach I had, he was the reason I ended up choosing him. I like made a lot of decisions. We made a lot of decisions together for that show. But he was he and his wife. It kind of like helped with as far as like taking a look at everything. But I've been doing it a while, so I know like what they're looking for. But also like just to double check that with him, like hair and makeup suit. Like he's probably one of the only male coaches I've known personally. I don't, there's a ton out there, but they just like knew like what they were wanting for, um, you know, pro qualification and he's proven it over and over. Um, there's some shortcomings with that and uh, with him, but also he was a lot of great things, but I, mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah, I, I would say that besides him though, I mean, that's rare. Like Sonia's saying, like usually the female knowing how to be polished, have your hair right, have your cape yeah. right, and then, then your K. Marie mm -hmm. hair, you know, um, and then hair. also just have your face looking great and the posing, all that stuff. It's, uh, you're correct, like a male does not know. And a lot of time male coaches will treat women's bodies as if they're like mini bodybuilders too. And that's something you just really have to, I've experienced it, have to mm -hmm. uh, look out for that. I preach it all the time to ask questions and like speak up if you start to feel uncomfortable about anything with yeah. a, um, your, your protocol because women's bodies are totally different than you know men's bodies um so we yeah. can't just be treated like little men <laughs> which is what a lot of coaches i think do with their protocol um yeah. so yeah just a minute i'm sure you guys might have had an experience with that but um that's something i talked about a lot have you i have a question i'm sorry i got so many questions oh but, go, no <laughs> absolutely go ahead. no but have you ever i know it might be weird you don't have to say name but have you experienced like any awkwardness like 
among or between you and like your male coach on any level and it doesn't have to necessarily be sexual but i just in my head yeah. I, i've only worked with coach k so that's all i know yes and i've never yes. felt uncomfortable but with yes. me and it's like how would i feel yes um, um it it de- it <laughs> yeah it definitely takes a certain um in my experience there are professionals in the industry who are men that know exactly how to speak to their clients, talk to women, all this kind of stuff. I have on the flip side of it, again, no names, but I've had a couple be sexually inappropriate, be too personal, asking too many, just up in my business, asking yeah. about my my romantic life, my divorce, different things like that. Um, making it to where a place where it's, uh, you know, just not appropriate. And then also the other thing on the, what the other thing you're talking about, I think it's just more like body function stuff. I'm just kind of, as Kay and Tanya know more than you do, I'm just like not shy at all. So I just kind of say whatever, but I, uh, you know, I'm just going to sell them if I'm on my period or if I'm, you know, have it, can't go to the bathroom or whatever. Right. And they just have to get over it. I'm paying you to talk to bring in my body. But yeah, it, just, it doesn't feel the same as telling if I told Sonia or Kay though, I'm sure, you know? So yeah, yeah there is some awkwardness. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Coach, true. Okay, I mean, Let's- we all have it. <laughs> yeah. I love that. So, Coach, I know you've had coaches as well, because like you always say, every athlete needs a coach. Um, you've had all men, or have you had a mix of men and women? No, I've had all men. Okay, I'm talking to Coach. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I, can't, I see you, but I don't see Kay. Sorry. Oh, you see me? I <laughs> oh, I see you now. Okay. Okay, I only had one coach besides uh, Jock, and okay. his name was um, Herb, and it was um, when I first started – um, it was a natural um, federation, and I, I worked with him for about um, eight months, um, and then I told him I want to do NPC, and after I told him I want to do NPC, I didn't hear from him, so <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah, because he was more, he was just a, uh, you know, natural federation, NPC, they do yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't care, I want to go with the biggest one, you know, federation in the world, and I want, you know, go on the Arnold stage. And that's when Jock coached me um, to the Arnold. And that's when I won um, overall. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I mean, you you have been, you've been my only female coach. I have had one other female coach to train me for a short period of time. But all my coaches have been male as well. Okay. Okay. And I, and, um, and, and, and I, I haven't experienced, like Lauren, the inappropriateness from my coaches just because most of them was a little bit older as well. Okay. Um, but I have heard that those same people have been inappropriate to other competitors. So I don't know if it's about maybe they think you're vulnerable or they select those people to try to prey on. I don't, I don't know, but I have heard stories as well. I will say that was then, and this is now going through like the last year and a half of my life. Like I'm a different person. Like I feel like no one would ever be able to do that to me now. Right. Ever would even think of doing it. Like I chew them up and spit them out. But at the time, I was going through so much and really just wanted to, a lot of factors, really wanted to get my pro card. I was, you know, in a marriage that was kind of not going great and all this other kind of stuff. So maybe they just saw like an in, I don't know. But um, mm. it's probably on me for being too open about things. But, yeah. you, you know, yeah, I, I, learned some of, yeah, I learned I some think of that, that too. Yeah, it's like, I think no, I'm goes- just telling you what's going on. I'm not inviting you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah, I think that's, um, I think that too, um, a lot of um, male coaches, they, um, they see that um, a lot of women and or athletes are vulnerable mm-hmm. at certain times that we may be going through something in our life and they, mm-hmm. they know because they're men, you know, mm-hmm. and so just naturally they what they get into your mind. So that's what I really can't stand about some of these male coaches. They try to um, mm-hmm. control people's way of thinking you know like a abusive it's uh, a control thing it mm-hmm. is and so yeah. i always try to tell my my client like you got to be strong-minded you can't be weak-minded because they will they will chew you up and promise you a lot of things that's not gonna happen <laughs> yeah <laughs> Those it the ones to that you want to stay from you know stay away from mm-hmm. but there are several um good um male coaches out here that are you know respectable then you have some you know in the bunch that are just uh trifle yeah, yeah. <laughs> no they are, it's true i mean it's it's true and they like like okay saying i mean they see you as they see like an opportunity to like it's almost like i don't say mind control you but like brainwash you into like yeah. thinking like and then also just like 
knowing that you really want to impress them, they like feed off of that. And then, yeah. I don't know, it's this weird thing. Um, I would never, like I said, I was a little bit in a different headspace and type of person than, than I am now. So I wouldn't allow that. But uh, I mean, at the time, sure, I probably was an easy target. Well, look, I'm now you're strong, it. girl. You're strong. You're I know. Strong. <laughs> Listen, they know I will repost them on Instagram. Send me something if you want to, okay? Yeah, right. I'll be putting that up on my story. <laughs> like, something with Kay, I'll be like, ready. Sure. And waiting. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm sure you, uh, Kay, like, I mean, you probably agree since you are a female and you have a lot of female clients. Like, there is a different type of communication there too for female coaches. And so I've often almost gone to a woman. It's not, I have nothing against it. I've just, it, they've all ended up just being male. Um, but I guess the one thing I have worried about is like, if I need to find out if I do go to a female coach or if I ever do that, it'll need to be someone that doesn't really want to be like my best friend and not care about hurting my feelings. Like girl, your legs are fat. They need to come down. Like I need to hear that. I don't need to hear you look amazing. Like I've seen right. a lot of friends <laughs> that work with some female coaches and they, that's the type of feedback they get is like you look so good girl i'm like please stop like i have my friends and whoever to, if they want to tell me that not my coach well yeah. i think that's why k fits so well for me because she's super honest i mean we all know that um i can imagine a female coach tell me oh you're gonna do great no okay but like you're not lean Mm, you're not lean enough you know I mean you need that honest truth you know yeah. so she's like you know one of those outliers I guess of female coaches so I guess it has to be that right type of female coach right I don't yeah. know I agree I love it so with okay so with the male coaches guys I've never had a male coach I've only had one coach <laughs> um and that's coach because check K but with women of course like like you mentioned, the emotional investment or like, I know, okay, I've leaned on you for like just regular talks and stuff, you know, I necessarily don't know, like with men, I, I don't like when people look at, it. I know it's business, but it's like, okay, I'm still a human. So can you relate and can you mm -hmm. understand where I'm coming from right now? Like I'm PMSing, like help me out, you know? So um, with women, yeah. I mean, um, it, yeah. it's been I'm in my head. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like there's been a couple of coaches I've had that have kept it, have, were able to keep it professional, but also still talk to me like a friend and give me advice and like, come on champ, you know, you can do this, you've done harder, blah, you know, give me all the good pep talks, like I can hear a lot of them in my head. Um, so I think there are some guys that are capable of that, uh, but also at the same time, they aren't good at that because, uh, you know, I've experienced that too. And like men aren't just not as emotional as women. And as a woman, having a woman coach, I feel like the coach would, okay, like for example, for you, would actually get like what you're trying to say right now. And a guy's no. just like, all right, you're acting crazy. Snap out of it. Like, it's like, okay. <laughs> I know, but like, I really am in the middle of the worst period of my life. Like, what am I going to do? Uh, no. Coach K would not care. No. <laughs> yes, you better get you a green apple. Sometimes. Suck <laughs> it up. Better. It depends on her mood. If you catch her right, every right. time, maybe, you know, it depends. <laughs> oh, I know it's not like, like rainbows and butterflies over there. <laughs> but like, that's, that's, a good, that's a good quality to have as a coach, just being like straightforward. And if you don't like it, I don't need someone to tell me I look great. I want you to tell me that we're ready to get on stage. That's all yeah. I need to hear. I don't need you to tell me anything else. Just, I don't even need to get feedback every week. Don't even say anything then. Don't say it looks awesome. <laughs> I've had a re I've had a, re a recent coach be like, um, you know, always just saying stuff like, "You look incredible. You look fantastic." And I'm like, "We are fat. Like, I <laughs> don't be telling me I look incredible until we are ready to get on stage. Like, if we were incredible, we would be on stage. So stop. Like, I don't need I don't need a cheerleader." Yeah. Okay, so that's, what, Lauren, what was your deal breaker for one of your male coaches? I mean, you don't have to give us the most gruesome, crazy one, but just a little something. Well. The only one, I mean, the main one I can think of is just the one who over, like, over prescribed a lot of different pieces of protocol to me mm -hmm. for way too long. Cardio, food, you know, supplements, all the stuff. Um, and then that was a completely, like, I don't know, I, I look back now and I really do think he was like a narcissistic type person who really just liked to control the women that were his athletes mm -hmm. and like to like have control over like withholding food. 
And then like using food is also is like a reward for like certain behavior. And he would also like try to control like parts of my social life. Like, um, you, why are you that's out? Crazy. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Um, that's just too much. Like, you know, that well, and then another crazy. coach I had make an advance on me before and I had to get rid of him like a month out from a nationals. Um, oh, that sucks. I know, I know. And then I had to use someone else uh, to help like bring me in. And that was crazy. I've, I mean, I've just had a couple of different crazy situations. Um, but yeah, but mainly that one, it's just like, you know, you can't prescribe women the same type of things as you are going to do with like a guy. Well, like what the hell? Like, I mean, seriously, I mean, y'all remember I got skinny, skinny and yeah. I looked crazy and it was horrible. Like everyone after that show asked me for like weeks, they're like, okay, I didn't want to say it then, but I'm going to say it now. Like, I'm so glad you're okay. Like we, everyone was worried about you. Like you look like a cancer you patient. Peaked. You had peaked way too early. Yeah, and I was ready for like ten weeks, man. It yeah. was crazy, but um, I mean, wow. just really that, just lack of knowledge, lack of understanding a woman's body, and also the communication with all that. That was just strange. Yeah. I think yeah. it all boils down when it comes to coaches, the knowledge, and you know, yes. really how you how you can lead. That's what it comes down to, man or woman, yeah. no matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. that's true. Do you, do you guys have any, like, we, or Sonia, do you have any weird experiences with a dude, coach, since Bree doesn't? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I mean, see, I mean honestly, honestly, no, except for my one coach where, because I did natural shows before I um, first went into NPC, and kind of what you said, like, I felt like they were trying to control the food and control the social media and wanting, like, the credit for everything. I'm like... Mm -hmm. Even if you're my coach, this is still my, my I'm your walking advertisement. You know what I'm saying? You don't get upset because I put, I didn't tag you on every single picture or I didn't tag you. I could have said, I could have, if I called you personally or I'm paying my money and say thank you as a coach, I don't have to put you on my social media. You know what I'm saying? So I, I felt like you. he was getting so upset about that, that we actually parted ways and I was going into my first national show for, um, I think it was Junior USA where I met uh, Bree and I had to get a coach to literally bring me in. It was like the last four weeks or something. I mean, clearly that went to crazy because Bree said I had the biggest butt she's ever seen. So, <laughs> hey, that's a compliment too. <laughs> so, I mean, to me, that that was crazy. So, uh, that was the only, only thing for me. It was a little bit traumatic because I didn't know what yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I understand with that one coach I was talking about, I mean, that was four weeks out and I was, you know, I think it was the second, it was the third national show I'd done, but I had kind of coming back from that whole rebound of that one coach I was telling you that starved me to, to death basically. Um, mm -hmm. And I was really pumped up, you know, I think you helped me with my posing for that one just for Miami. Mm -hmm. And um, I had to get someone else to help me the last few weeks and uh, it was just, yeah, it's, it can it can mess things up. Like you got to really make sure that you do your research, and yeah. tr and talk to other clients and look at their pictures, look at their track record. Like, don't just take their word for it. And everyone's a salesman. They're a salesman. They're just trying to, of course, make themselves sound awesome. There's so many coaches now, more way more than there used to be five or six years yeah. ago, and even ten years ago. I can't even imagine. I mean, my um, boyfriend, he's a little older than me, and he says like you know back in the day, it wasn't even really like that. There was like a handful of coaches. Um, and then otherwise you're just getting someone at the gym to like help you. Like, but now like the, certain coaches, like you're saying, Sonia, like they want full credit. They want full control. It's like, bye bye now. Look, look what we did. It's like, no, we did not do. You told me. Yeah. Oh. Team, like I know after a while you you have the team, um, mentality cause you've done so many shows together once you get there, but like, don't be coming to take my credit. I was the one busting my ass for, you know, whatever. I, I still have to put so in the work, just, you know, let, let me, me tell y'all, let me. Let me tell y'all, I can't stand when a coach is like that. Oh, you got to tag me in all these pictures. You got to put my name in your bio. Yes. You got yes. to do this. Uh, like me, I really don't care if you put in my bio. You then you put, if, if, if you shot me out, okay, great. But you have your own life. But that's control. That's what they. That's what's considered control. I can't stand when they do that. Oh my god! They should put that's my picture on their Instagram. That should be enough for you. You don't right. control yeah. my social media. And then, right. yeah, like most of yeah, most of my clients, they'll just you know you know shout out uh, Coach K or Team Fino, which is great. You know, I love it because that um that gives more exposure to 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 me as a coach. 
But I'm not gonna say, well, you have to do this. You got to no, do that. No, you have never told us that we had to Absolutely. do anything. I think a lot of us did it too because of the respect and we respected you. Right. And we never got you that to. you have to from from you, you want so to. it's easier. Yeah, yeah, you want to at that point. Yeah, yeah and I can't even put half the stuff in my bio, so half the stuff is, is, is <laughs> cut out anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get a link tree on that one. <laughs> I know. I need, I need to get one of those things. Yeah, all the all the connections and I, <laughs> I love it. Well, I think I, I love your perspective, Lauren. Everybody has a different experience. Sonny, you have a different experience. Okay. Um, I think what, like I said, it boils down to knowledge of the, the coach, regardless. Yeah. You know. I mean, there's, I think so there's not many. knowledge too. I think um, you know you have to give your coach a chance, even if it's uh, male yeah. or female, a chance to learn your body to make sure you're not following. Because uh, you cannot be following, and this coach might be like, "This is crazy." Because I know this works for X, Y, and Z or oh, whatever. For sure. For so you sure. really gotta give them a chance to learn your body, see what you can do. Your first show, you might not do well. Because Lauren, I remember, I knew you were gonna go pro when you jumped into that local show. You won. You went on to nationals. Your first call out. So I knew that you were going to go pro that year. I just knew it. Like at that I, point, you know it. I knew it too. I felt it. You know, um, that first show I got jumped into, I was chubby last year. But yeah, I, I, uh, I, you uh, look I, I knew I was going to get it first. It was a tiny show, and I knew I just needed the qualification. So I was like, Oh crap! I need to do that. Well, what's one Friday? It's like two hours away. Let's go. But you look good. You look symmetrical. You know, you look really beautiful on stage. Oh, Your posing thanks. was great. So you really did. You know, I've seen you come a long way. I'm proud of you, girl. Thank you, Sonia. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's I've definitely experienced like a lot of, and you know, y'all know this firsthand if, if you know, because you've seen it. Part of it. It's like I've come a lot. I, I've I've learned a lot of like what not to do. So now mm -hmm. going forward into my pro career, like I want to keep it totally professional and like yes like ex like i have to keep my body in a certain place now i've learned that as opposed to y'all see me get fresh. like so fat like a few times you know um but that's fine mm -hmm. i've learned yeah. now like a lot so i think i'm gonna apply that to my like first season and mm -hmm. take it going forward and know like the things to look for and all all the things i've ever learned I yeah know it's, you have tools you have tools in your toolbox and i think that comes with you as an athlete owning your career and not leaving it in the hands of a coach um because if you would have solely relied on your first or second coach you wouldn't really have the the stepping stones or the tools you need now to kind of control yes. things yourself so they all have taught me different things um yeah. either if, even if i had a good a good bad good or bad experience with them or just yeah. left them for like a personal reason. I've picked up so much and learned something from all of them. And in a way, I'm appreciative of every one of them because yeah, I'm absolutely. wouldn't be who I am now without it. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to just not go through anything like that anymore though. And if you do, <laughs> it might be another learning experience, yeah. you know? I mean, yeah. we're Bri, always what, learning. Bree and Sonia, what are y'all doing? What y'all shows? Um, I'm just gonna wait till August right now. Might try to fall into the clash as a warm up or something. I, I Let's do it, say. girl. Let's do it. I mean, but it's in such a, a expensive area too. So I, I mean, this year has just been a little bit crazy. I guess for everyone. So I gotta. I know my battles. Like you know, my wallet hates me right now. I'm just like <laughs> no commission because I'm working at home remote. Like I'm a outside salesperson. So like a lot of stuff's been closed, and I'm just like, well, I got my, I got my base, and I've got my posing stuff, and I've got my other stuff, but like. I used to making commission, and now we're just we're just like working on all this admin stuff in the meantime, and it's like I don't know what's what's next for Bree. You know, Bree's ready yeah, Bree. tomorrow, so uh, I'm, I'm just I'm just waiting on the word from the Lord. <laughs> the Lord, good answer, good answer. You know what? You you need to look at your mail because I am sending you one of those God is dope shirt. I mean, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, what about you? What's this wellness? Yeah. Oh, um, my um, I'm planning on doing the uh, New York Pro, and then I want to do that's in September, and then uh, Toronto. That was my first show I wanted to do that, that I had my eyes on. And yeah. you're gonna, you're gonna crush that wellness, aren't you? Yes, that's the plan. That's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> not, I had some pizza. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna do absolutely it. great. We're not gonna worry about you. Yes. 
Well, well Marla, we, love, we want to thank you for coming on and of sharing course. all your experiences. Yeah. And Anytime. So. Y'all want me to, I'll get on here. I love all you guys. And Brie, I know we're not as tight, but I used to see Sonia and Kay like every day in my life. Uh, if you cool with them, we cool. Okay. Right. At any show, I, I always see Kay or Sonia. I run up. I'm like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> like nationals or somewhere. I'm like, hey, guys. <laughs> I'm everywhere. Good. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm yeah. Uh, anytime you on need... stage um, at one of these shows, I said I'm looking forward to seeing you at least at one of these shows. You know, we can run into oh. each other, be on the pro awesome. stage together. That'd yes. be fun. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, thank you guys so much. Anytime you need me, I'm here, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. I guess. All, All right. right. Bye. 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 Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. Bye. Subscribe. Bye. 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 B